Okay, let's talk about your front load washer. Could be Sears Kenmore, Frigidaire. I've seen this happen on the Kenmores mainly. And so what happens is the water pump will fail. It will seem perfectly good, but fail. And so let's take a look at the water pump. Okay, this is your typical water pump on your Kenmore Whirlpool front load washers. And so if you take it out and you take it apart, you take the motor from the pump housing, what happens is basically these pumps should be cleaned out through this front uh, access port. Let's see, on this one, this access port, on this Samsung here, this access port is down here. That's typically where the whirlpools are. And you'll see there's a little drain tube here and the axis unscrew here should be drained from here if this is plugged up you could um, tip it on its tip it up so you don't have much coming out and then stick a mop under and pull it uh, and then open up this cap here <clears throat> and this pump here is actually uh, failed as well it doesn't um, it doesn't pump out very fast. It could be a clog somewhere, but it's basically um, going to be replaced. Uh, but anyway, back to the pump. What happens on these pumps is <clears throat> if they don't get changed out and filter clean, of course this is your filter, it just unscrews. If your machine is full of water, you have to drain it with the drain tube. And so this is your filter, it has to be cleaned out. You can see there's something in there. Typically you'll see coins and hairpins and hair and lint balls or whatever, money. And what happens is this fits inside here like so. And then this part here screws on there. And so if you unscrew it, <clears throat> make sure you remember which way they screw on because they face different angles and you probably want to get regular screw clamps instead of the pressure uh, uh, pressure clamps the screw on clamps are easier to deal with sometimes and what happens is this impeller comes loose from this armature shaft and so this impeller is basically there's a like a safety mechanism inside this impeller it's like a little rubber uh, spline grommet and when that spline grommet uh, gets too much pressure probably because you haven't cleaned out your filter when that spline grommet inside there gets too much pressure in it it will come loose from the armature shaft it will still stay on but it won't um, if you spin it You'll, you won't be able to feel this uh, magnetic force on it. And so what I've done to repair this, as you can see, a cut what I use is a soldering gun. I use a soldering gun to um, get in there and make little cuts in that impeller. And what I've done before is I just take a hacksaw and I'll, I'll hacksaw kind of a Y in it. Be careful not to scar the this housing because this housing has to uh, seat up against there. But anyway, and then what I did was I put some E6000 glue or you could probably use automotive goop. And then that, is, that has um, uh, held on to the, uh, to the armature shaft. So now this pump is repaired. Um, I'm not sure how long it was, would last, but it is repaired. And I have one uh, I just repaired yesterday, and it's, and it's running five loads a day. It's probably on its second load already today. And so that's how you repair these pumps. And what happens is these pumps actually get filled with gunk. And so you might want to put a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of... Uh, uh, silicone 
or Vaseline around this edge here because they tend to fill up with debris inside there. And I'm not sure if that's going to affect it or not, but I'm sure eventually it might. And you might want to put a drop of oil on the end of there when you put it back together. And so that's your water pump tip for today. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, uh, I give phone advice for $25, 707-443-8347 Pacific Time. Thanks for watching.